Welcome back to the Fourth Seat Podcast. <laughs> Been a while. Uh, Last did, thing we did was JoJo or Twilight Princess. I think it was Twilight Princess. Yeah, we, we finished finally that. finished that. Yeah. No, we don't need Sea Gear. I actually hit yes on, on Sea Gear, so ah, it doesn't matter. It is. It uh, it's no longer winter. It is still winter. All right. Let me oh, that's right. We're in, in Dragon Fuck Off Tower. I think I'm done with the tower. It's spring now! Wow, that was fast. Am I done with the tower? Yeah, because I, I went to the top and I rung the bell. I must have been on my way down again? Or did you ring the bell? I'm so confused. Well, uh, maybe we should just take, like, photographs and, like, write stuff on them. Yeah. Team Rocket, don't believe his lies. I got a Reggie, that's cool. Uh... I was gonna try to get the gang to watch Bullet Train this uh, weekend, but nobody, everybody was busy because it's Memorial Day weekend. So maybe someday people will want to do that, or maybe I'll just switch you out with another movie that is like weirder than Bullet Train, yeah, and possibly weirder than uh, than uh, every everything everywhere all at once. Yeah, yeah. Wait, do you have other ideas for movies? I, I yeah, I've I've, I've got. I know all these like crazy movies I want to show people, and I like that. I like seeing people like go like, "Hey, I got this movie for you. You're, you're ready to watch it?" Oh, hey, cool. What is it? Oh no. No, it was the wrong tile. Yeah, I have to fight a, a watchdog instead. Oh, it's raining. Oh, my crook is burned. I probably should be fighting with them. Uh, no, this movie is, a. Uh, I think I might have told you about this a while back. This is back when I was still living with you. It's called The Forbidden Room. Sounds vaguely familiar. It's, uh, it's very interesting. I don't want to give too much of it away, but, uh, stylistically, it is breathtaking. Like, from a, uh, from just a, like, visual perspective, it is, like, amazing. Yeah. To like watch, um, not like in terms of like oh the scenery is gorgeous, but like editing and stuff and just the style it like it like wants to do is very fat is very interesting. Oh hey another one maybe this one, yeah, yeah it's Audino. Yeah, yeah probably worth a lot of uh, fake ass chances everywhere. So between. But re recently, just before the stream you were talking about, I showed you the Did You Know Gaming Russian bootleg Pokedex. Yeah, yeah. Uh, apparently somebody, some Russian father for his kid just decided, you know what, you know what? I, I, my kid can't read the official lore for uh, for uh, Pokemon. Pokemon's so I'm gonna not make... Russian. I'm going to make my own. So... He, so just, he, he just he just decided did. everything about all the Pokemon, and he put it all in a book with mostly original images, right? Yeah, he did like fifty yeah. of them. Fifty of them. There could have been more, but uh, I guess at that point, Pokemon was like, or Nintendo was like trying to crack down on that shit. Like, what the fuck you doing, bro? How did they? How would they find out? Like in the middle of it, though, was it published in volumes? There was some like there is some Russian uh, or there there was some like uh, Nintendo KGB double agent who was there and who reported back. Wait, was this pre or no? This was post uh, fall of the USSR. So yeah. there was no like there's no Kremlin. There was it was after American Pokemon came to be, so it would have had to have been at least late nineties, probably two thousand or later. Uh, he ate a berry. She ate a berry. Sorry. Um, no, there's some crazy ones in there. It's, it's not just, just the fact bizarre that bizarre because not it's it, it's not just that he like makes up lore for them as monsters. He acts like they're each monster is a real person. It contributes to society. It speaks English. Like it, they have jobs and hobbies. Some of them are terrorists and arsonists. Yeah, some of they like to eat like certain kinds of like specific brand soft drinks. It's fucking wild, man. It's far out. <laughs> like I, I know, always knew. I knew Russia's weird, but 
It's just, it's not that Russia's weird, it's that this one particular Russian man is, is like... Was, a person that dedicated it is probably also, like, like a little, has a, a little bit out there, you know? Um, I guess. Can I not sleep here? It's, okay, it's also that Russian media can be weird, though. Well, apparently so, the guy does not like journalists. At all. What? Oh. What's going on? Who's calling me? Hey, it's my mom! This is your mom. How you doing? I'm doing cool. Route Guns. 7. Wow, feels like we should be way further than fucking 7. I, uh, I just realized that uh, I've inherited her hair, but not necessarily her eyes. Yeah. She looks more like the female trainer, but I guess that's to be expected. Yeah. I get it from my dad. Who's my dad? I don't know. No one has None dads. Dads are a myth. Well, it's always the mom and never the dad. What if somebody never... What if it was a single... Like, somebody playing this with a single parent, like, a child? But... What? Oh, yeah. The dark grass has d uh, double encounters. You know, they'd really break the mold, have a single dad in Pokemon. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Hey, it's your dad, sorry about your mom. The the Russian dude, he he got mostly yeah, let's right talk about this more. the Pokemon that are like really prominent in the, in the anime. So it yeah, seems like he's he operating on really, really primitive knowledge of so I, I guess you, you can kind of tell what's going on on screen in the anime, even without speaking the language. Yeah, so... <laughs> so, I got, I got a funny story. So, I was listening to it, right? Yeah. Um, at work. And I, I was, like, doing my work stuff. And I got to the Jigglypuff one. I'm like, Jigglypuff is like, oh. And I was like, oh, this is basically the anime. And then he mentioned the Jigglypuff Opera House. And I just burst out laughing. <laughs> I'm like, yep, there it is. It's very unusual, full of beds, so that listeners can go to sleep during the performance. It's like, some some parts of it are wholesome, like, oh, this is this would be definitely for his daughter, but then other parts of it are, are like, weirdly, like, Russian. <laughs> like, the stuff about them hating on journalists. Like, so I'm gonna level with you, uh, journal apparently, uh, state media in Russia is, like, horribly corrupt. Yeah. So oh, that's not yeah, obviously. Yeah. It was a very, uh, it was a very pro-Russian Pokedex. There was a lot of, like, throwing mud at uh, journalists, at, uh, at politicians, but who doesn't do that? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to remember specific examples of, like, uh, just, just general patriotism for the state. Uh, so... Was there any for, that were patriotic for the state? There, there, there was. I'm just, I'm drawing a blank on specific examples now. Um, there, a lot of people drink, uh, like alcohol. A lot of the, sorry, pe Pokemon. I, I guess they are people. They, they have jobs and shit. I guess, but they're also species. It's like he couldn't decide which was which. And some <laughs> entries treated them as both at the same time. It was very confusing. Are, are they people, or are they Pokemon? Yes. Da. Da. Sorry. Oh! Electric Zebra. Rock is horribly effective against both of them. So you... If you finish yeah, with the tower, then you need to go back to the previous town and do the, the flying oh, the gym. gym. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's flying? Okay. Yeah. Shit. My uh, ground type is not going to be very effective against... Uh, nor will your construction worker. He's got a rock type move. Oh, but then again, he's shit. Uh, I don't really don't have anything that's like super. Is that it? God, I hope I rung this bell. I don't want to have to come down to find out. I have to go back up again. Ah. 
Um, what else? What were some other? Uh, Meowth uh, being a fucking capitalist. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, Abra being an information broker or some kind of some kind, and then becoming like a total scumbag as a cadabra. Yeah. I like that he that there was a uh, that he uh, thought that uh, Geo Dude and Graveler were like uh, evolutions, but he looked at Gollum. He's like, "Nah, this is a separate fucking thing." I, I think. I don't know if he thought that, but Gollum's entry did not have a lot to do with uh, Geo Dude and Graveler. Mm -hmm. Although that was kind of a lot of third forms. Like a lot of them were like horrible for the middle forms and then the third one would like mellow out and be okay again. Oh yeah, the Pidgeot as opposed to Pidgeotto and Pidgey. Pidgeot would stand on his side whenever people would ask him stuff, he'd be like, I don't know, leave me alone! Kabuto was entirely based around a Russian pun. <laughs> I like how they have that in, Japan, uh, in Russia as well as Japan, just... What wordplay? Well, I guess every, every, uh... Site. Does, is there like a culture slash language that doesn't have wordplay? I can't imagine any like, there... spoken ones. Um, I'm sure even like sign language has wordplay of a sort. Good. That'd be that'd be interesting to like ask people about. Hey, does uh, sign language have wordplay? And then they'd sign at you. What? <laughs> Damn, that that seems mean. Is it? Is it ableist? Oh, you can't understand them either. Person saying what while a person signing back what? 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 Stone Cold comes up. What? Old Little John. What? <laughs> that's, the... <laughs> that's a that's a really low bar Saturday Night Live skit is what we just described. <laughs> yeah, that's that's awful. I, if they ever do that, like I, I unironically. Oh come on! Oh, it's just the one. Okay. Pretty sure I mentioned this in previous streams because I've been at it a while. I'm uh, watching through Hey Arnold still. Yeah, you said up. that, and you said it got good at season three. Uh, <laughs> it finally... No, it didn't get good. It has yeah. slowly been getting better, but it is still not like good. It doesn't hold up, but I'm stubborn. I'm sticking through it. Yeah, what was it that you said? You asked me, hey, um, uh, should I watch uh, Love Hina? Was it that you said you wanted to like uh, watch Love Hina? I sh I showed you a. Uh, well, obvious clickbait article of, like, yeah. the, the ten worst written female anime characters. Which, okay, I think they confuse worst written with hateable. Uh, it's like, it's I just think, a kind of a mishmash of the two. Because Nina was think, on there, and she was very I think, hateable. I think Nina was intentionally written to be like that, though. Yeah. Like, I hate Sync. Like, there's no way that's not, like... I don't know if it was fully intentional. I mean, uh, to some degree, but the, I, I feel like they wanted you, they tried to redeem her with mixed success. Oh, crap. They automatically, I automatically fall off if I'm not, like, walking shit. Code BS. Uh, so uh, soccer was on there for the reasons that we complain about. Yeah, that's the, that's the only one. her at all. That's the only reason I would, like, that's the only one I would, like, kind of, like, agree with. Um... The reaction that I that people have the, for like uh, that character for Love Hina, Naru from Love Hina was on there. Yeah, which... and and from that, from what I hear from like uh, like people who talk about her, what the fuck did the counter rate so high? Yeah, it tracks. I, I was surprised that she she was on there and not say Akane because yeah, Naru is that type of like violent Sundere character, but I remember her being way better than others of that type. I think, I think it, nobody remembers Rama one half. You think, you think more people remember Love Hina? I think more people remember Urusei Yatsura fondly than, than Rama one half. I don't know about fondly, or, but, 
I think people remember Ranma one half uh, mostly nostalgically because that was one of the only like anime and tape trading stuff that was like there. Gets referenced on Robot Chicken a few times. That's because Robot Chicken is like written by nerds who know fucking everything. They don't about, reference like, Urusei. <laughs> I'm just saying. Shit. Everybody in Urusei was better written though. Yeah. Even like the even like the jokey joke characters. Oh, you're not gonna hear me argue. It's definitely way better written than Ranma. I do think like Ranma is by far the more popular series. Maybe that'll change with the Urusei remake. I'd like it to. Oh yeah. Um. Anyway. Oh, so uh, I actually, I actually, I actually uh have a funny story about Urusei and and another streamer. Oh, okay. So you, you know, I, I watched this dude called uh, Brad Taste in Music. Yeah. Uh, he, he somebody uh, donated a uh, one of the uh, Urse uh, tracks for him to listen. He liked it, but he also was like, "Oh, what's this anime about? Is this another like anime where like the main the main character just gets all the women because just because?" And it was written by a dude. And I typed in, "Actually, it was written by a woman." <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, well, yes and no." He, he yeah. only gets one woman he doesn't deserve. Now that now the others go for him. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's actually the opposite. He gets his shit kicked in by a bunch of women. It's just, it's, it's Johnny Bravo. Except he mm -hmm. has, like, one girl going after him, and that's the only one he doesn't want. Supposedly. And then you, she uh, leaves, what, like, he's what all kind sad. Of, what kind of track was it? Was it, like, one of the Hawaiian ones? I think it was, uh, it was one of the intros. One of the intros? I think... Okay. I think it was the second one. I don't remember which one that is. Oh, I, I, I lost a dude. Whoops. I'm not these paying things, attention. These things happen. Um, no, so yeah, I thought that was cool. That, that, uh, that, that intersected. Uh, I was talking about Hey Arnold. Yeah. I found I found out that apparently it started as some comics, and oh, it yeah? started and, and then it got to a it was like three claymation shorts, one of which showed on Sesame Street. What? I didn't know it existed in so many <laughs> other forms before it was a Nick cartoon. But yeah, apparently that was a thing. Uh, I've gotten some Tony J appearances. He plays like oh, three. Oh, Tony J. Yeah, he plays like three bit characters in the show. Is he is he the sewer king? Uh, he's not the sewer king. He is a uh, like a a frumpy old British aristocrat who's rivals with the grandpa. Oh. He's just he's just like Frollo but super stuck up. Oh no! I remember now. Sewer king has like a has like a. a a New Yorker accent. Hey, I'm walking here. Hey, you really remember that character who was in exactly one episode. Let me tell you something about that character. That was the most memorable part of that show, and that says a lot about Hey Arnold. Yeah. He like he was like he like ruled over the rats. Hey Arnold was was like low key an urban fantasy series. I I just want to say that right now because there was some places. shit. There was what about some the shit pigeon that... man? Who? Oh, you don't remember the the pigeon man was the most memorable character. Let me, let me tell you. Let me tell Fuck you the you, pigeons of, over rats. So, okay, so here's, I, I know the French pigeon man, who got apparently possessed what seventy two times. Yeah, not that one. <laughs> Poor bastard. Um. <laughs> um. No, th let me tell you the three episodes of Hey Arnold I remember, okay. or like the few, uh, the one where somebody threw, uh like, a bunch of money on the ground, and then the two of them, like, decide to use it to go on the town and not, like, go for their, uh, for their, to their fucking, uh, high school play. I saw that fruit. one. That was an early one. They're in elementary school, by the way. And it was two just criminals who happened to look like them. They're in elementary school? Yeah, they're nine. That makes no fucking sense! This show sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I'm like... <laughs> It has good qualities. I know. What you just rarely. <laughs> um. What was the second yeah. one you remember? Uh, another one I remember was uh, they thought that uh, 
There's this kid who's known as the Jinx, and he thinks that Arnold's actually a Jinx. And so Ar Arnold starts to get bad luck. And, I... But he's trying to plan him like a surprise party. He's like, tell him, I'm going to plan you a su surprise party, and it's going to be a surprise. Have you gotten to that one yet? Either I haven't gotten to that one, or you're misremembering the episode. Okay. Maybe I just haven't uh, gotten to it. There's a couple I remember involving Arnold's, uh, like, uh, cousin? No, he's, he's, if you're talking about the Jinx character, that's Eugene. He's just okay, another Eugene. student in the class. Okay. I think the main Jinx episode I've seen, they get, like, stuck on top of a roller coaster together. While trying to prove that he is not a Jinx. <laughs> Um, and the third one is the Rat Man, right? Yeah. Sewer King. Rat Man's another character. He was in uh, The Stand. The guy, uh, the one guy bumps into him in the miniseries. Like, oh, I'm sorry. And then the Rat Man goes, The Rat Man forgives you this time. As he walks away, and the Rat Man's like, watching him go with the look on his face going, Man, some people can be really rude. <laughs> I, I was talking about this with some of my coworkers uh, the uh, like a couple days ago about how I can, I can barely remember names and faces. I'm utterly terrible at that. Oh, I'm fighting this dude. Okay, but when it comes to just like random stuff about shows and like and like media, I just I I know it. I just know a lot of random shit about it. I can't. I can barely remember my childhood. I remember. The first time I watched Slayers on public access back when I was a kid. And much like what? Shaolin Showdown, it was probably the episode least representative of the show that you watched. <laughs> Good Kimi. The Kimiko. weird old people Super Power Rangers parody. Kimiko dressed like a like a fucking like urban city girl. I'm like, wait, she doesn't normally look like that. I mean, she looks different every episode, but that one was particularly outlandish. Mm. I'm gonna switch to my water type, actually. Do you, uh, do you remember Phoebe? Like, Helga's lackey? Little uh, glasses girl the, with black hair? Oh, yeah, the black hair, pink glasses. She had braces? Uh, I don't think she had, has braces. Okay. She's Japanese, except her last name is Heyerdahl? What's it, Kiki Heyerdahl? It's Phoebe Heyerdahl. Phoebe not, Heyerdahl. Not a Japanese first name, not a Japanese last name. Oh, so her, so her mom was an immigrant then. Her father is voiced by George Takei. Okay. Also Wait, what? Heyerdahl, so, did, like, who's Japanese here? Hold on, did did, they, did he go through the fucking, like, uh, Ellis Island and, like, had his name changed? <laughs> Their house is this weird attempt at looking Japanese, but they don't quite get it right. Uh... <laughs> Their bathroom has, uh, a, like, one of those wooden Sento bathtubs and also a toilet in it. What kind of toilet? Just, you know, a oh, toilet. Oh, like a regular toilet? Which Japanese oh. bathrooms don't do. The toilet's no, they... in a separate room. Yeah. Because uh, it's more sanitary. They're, they're wealthy. They have a dojo in their house where they practice fencing. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> this I, George is... Takei represents the ancient Japanese art of one-handed swordsmanship. Okay, maybe maybe George Takei's uh, like parents were of mixed race, and yeah. then and then yeah, I she could be like a third generation. Yeah, it, it makes sense. Her her grandfather went to a, went through Ellis Island. I appreciate them trying to have representation, even if it's only mixed success. That is the main yeah. thing that I do like about the show, is the, yeah, that it takes place in the city, unlike every other cartoon ever made, ever. Like, hey, people live here too. There was, I think the last episode I watched was, like, it was the blackest shit. It was all about Har Arnold uh, just refusing to rat out some kids who did something. Like, what would what, they do? They mooned the principal. Oh, and, okay. And he was like, totally dead set against being a rat. <laughs> I'm not gonna snitch. Sky drop. Okay. Uh, so, how'd that episode end? Did he eventually, uh, 
rat on him? Uh, he got like four weeks detention. Everyone was waiting for him to break and rat, and he didn't because he's, he's a good kid. And uh, the kids who actually did it finally broke, and they admitted to it. I think I remember that episode. Yeah. Who mooned the principal? Wasn't it like they did it like at, at like at, in the dark or something? Or uh, oh no, no, oh no, they, it was photocopied. That's what's going on. No, there wasn't a photocopy. They just pulled their pants down in the hallway. The principal like sees them and goes, "Oh, what's this?" He puts his glasses on, and you get like ten frames of a boy ass, a blurry boy God. ass. I did, and was it one of them was like, "I did it. I mooned the principal." He's all crying and shit. Yeah. It was very similar to the South Park, okay, who crapped in the urinal, that episode. <laughs> they got, like, actual, like, li like liners and stuff. I'm surprised that, like, uh, like, they just don't have, like, a bunch of, like, Pidgey just on the wings just flapping their arms. Yeah, everyone can fly on, on like, baby birds. Why do we have airplanes? Just for cargo. Is more efficient than just having like a bunch of uh, Aerodactyl just just like fly it out. <clears throat> In other cartoon news, your Totally Spies is getting a reboot. Okay, um, before you, you go any further, are they going to keep the 2D animation style or is it going to be CG? I because I, I bet you uh, you don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make this prediction now, and if I'm wrong, I will give you a twenty dollars Steam gift card. Yeah, it's going to be CG. It's gonna I, be CG. I, it's 50-50. It's 50-50. Yeah, you you take that bet? Uh sure. I I, I have some faith in France. It's gonna be CG! Wait, okay. No 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 no. I know no. Miraculous Ladybug is French. This is Code Lyoko is French. Yeah. Wakfu it's either is gonna... French. Okay. Yeah, you're right about that. Fuck, I forgot about Wakfu. Um, it's probably gonna be CG though. Yeah. Do we know now? Let me let me look this up before I go to the gym. I know I'm fucking around, but uh, uh, I so I did in fact not reach the top of the tower. I have to go up again. And you think it's gonna? So you think it's gonna be two D? Uh, I I I have fifty percent chance. Okay. Total. Wait, it's not being. It's not. It's not getting rebooted. It's getting season seven. I, I've heard, like, both things. Do, do, is that, like, Reboot a reliable confirmed. source? So, okay, Polygon says Season 7. Re season 7 Reboot. Which is it, you f Polygon! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Animation Magazine.net. Totally Spies are on a Secret 7 mission for 2023. PopCulture.com. Cartoon Network's next big reboot confirmed. We got this covered.com. Cartoon Network is reboot. So most people are saying reboot. And two people are saying season seven. Because I think it heard they're back in high school again. That was a show where they aged over the course of the series. Okay, so it is, it's got to be a fucking reboot then. If that's the All case, right. yeah. Six seasons? I never, I didn't know it was that. It's uh, pretty needy. <laughs> New season will be 26 episodes, 22 minutes long. Strong female leads. Bring, feel thrilled to bring him back. Was there a trailer? Uh, I, I think it was just announced. I don't think there's, like, images yet. Totally Spy's weird reboot confuses everyone. <laughs> Good article. So, uh, we're lacking information is what I'm hearing. Totally Spy's is back and is more confusing than anyone expected. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, I think I lost the bet because I'm seeing some production stills and it looks 2D. So, uh, just uh, just tell me, just tell me whatever twenty dollar game you want, I'll get it for you. <laughs> I would have sworn they would have gone CG, but it's heavily anime inspired. So, I could see why they would stylistically stick with 2D. So so is Code Lyoko, and they made that live action. Eventually. <laughs> this is eventually. They're doing a reboot. 
Yeah, that's true. This this would maybe they learned. <laughs> saying some, calling something a season X reboot is like saying something is fresh frozen. It just does. It's not. It doesn't exist. Uh, we haven't right. gotten around to watching. Uh, well, we haven't even gotten around to watching Primal yet. Tartakovsky has a new show, the unicorn thing. No. Oh, is it like is it like back to lighter stuff after? No, it's not like actual unicorns. It's about like some su some like superpower anime fighter with a unicorn theme or something. Oh. Hold hold on. Where's the gym? Uh, down to the left. Oh, it's in There's the airport. The Pokemon Center. In the gym. Oh yeah, because it's flying. I get it. All right, I got it now. Um. And uh, there's a new Alex Hirsch Netflix show happening. Oh, what's the it called? Gravity Falls guy. I don't know the title. I know the uh, Adventure Time dude did uh, did a show with Netflix called The Midnight Gospel. I hadn't but, heard of uh, that. That's a weird one because that's actually based off of uh, the, uh, like animated uh, this animated uh, just uh, version of a podcast called the. Uh, I forget what it was called. But, uh... Oh, there's a greenhouse here. Well, don't drive the plane too far. You put the greenhouse at the end of a runway, you fools! It was a terrible winter after the plane crash. Yo, I'm, uh, I'm looking for the gym. Is this the gym? It's uh, all the way at the top. Of oh, the runway, okay. Wait, the gym's at the other end of the runway. So no matter which way they take, they, they land, there's a great risk of catastrophe. Here, have some water. Either the town loses its food supply or it loses its gym. Oh, that's right. Well, In this gym, you fire yourself out of fucking cannons. Trainers are tough, man. That's right. But this is just further proves my point. Hmm. I think in Black 2, White 2, it's like, uh, giant fans. Probably... <clears throat> yeah, we fighting? What do you think about the cannon? I think they're dangerous. Don't you feel like a flying Pokemon? Uh, uh no, because I haven't. Used, I don't have something that can use fly yet. What do you? Oh no, I was just double checking. Black two, white two version is better. I agree. Yeah, it's a better gym in that one. <laughs> oh, man. oh wait, you avoided my attack. You don't have any uh, rock, electric, ice. Oh, I have an electric, but I don't know if I've leveled them up. Oh, yeah, that's right, they can heal. Imagine they kept going with more Russian Pokedex past Gen 1. No, you know what you do is that uh, is that for Black White you just have like an American version of that Pokedex. I just get you just get somebody who doesn't know anything about Pokemon, just give them just give them like a bunch of like Pokemon designs and just give them their types and be like, hey, I need you to come up with lore for these creatures. Uh, it's worse than that, though. It wasn't just someone who clearly didn't know anything about Pokemon. It was a fucking crazy person who didn't know anything about Pokemon. You know how many of those kinds of crazy people there are in the U.S.? You'll find one eventually. Eh. Just, just, yeah, just, just... I just... asked my grandmother to write a short story about every Pokemon based only on their appearance. You know how many views that would get on YouTube? Yeah. Far too many. Okay. Oh. I just don't... I don't have anything that's, like, useful. That's, like... It, everything's neutral at best. I might have to switch out for... Do I have an electric type? Did I level them up at all? 
I, uh, is it the, is it the eel you've got? Um, no, it's a zebra. Ah. Oh. Oh, he's, he's coming. Man, I shouldn't be leading with Reggie. He's too slow. I think. I think he's slow. I don't know in my version. Did that giant golem just flash step? Sega stole the retro engine from Headcanon and is making a 2D Sonic game themselves. Okay. Is, is there like a source on this? You're not talking Wait, about Origins, are you? So Headcanon are the makers of uh, Sonic Mania. Oh, they stole it from them? I, this person is claiming. <laughs> Which, if I remember correctly, was itself based on uh, Christian Whitehead's, like, mobile ports of the Genesis games, right? Mm. So they're probably going to claim it, like, them for themselves via eminent domain? No, oh, I don't know about that. Uh, apparently the uh, Steam release of Dolphin got shit-canned. No shit! Like, <laughs> that was never gonna work out. Did you just release an emulator on Steam? Well, They're not gonna do that. The emulator itself, it, they can't do anything about because that should be legal. Apparently they found a loophole in that, uh, like, Dolphin includes some kind of, uh, some kind of keys in order to play the games that they have proprietorship over. Yeah, so, what, how uh, so, to, uh... so how, so what did they do? Did Steam just look at that loophole and be like, no, fuck you, we're not doing that, or... Uh, they, so they didn't contact the emulation makers, they contacted Valve, Nintendo did, and, uh, they got Valve okay. to take it off. Okay. Nintendo's like, you really are gonna believe that. You really want our legal team. We're fucking crazy, man. We'll, we'll go after you for the littlest of shit. And then Valve was like, Guys, look, it's not you, it's it's them, and then they're probably like, Yeah, Nintendo, we understand. We would like to sue. It's... Ah, Why'd that deal more fucking damage than fucking Razor Shell? Are you kidding me? I don't know why I'm even doing this, but I'm gonna catch an unknown. <laughs> A. It's gonna have terrible stats. We have one move. Wonder what it could be. Actually, no, it's it's Earth Power, that's what it is. They denied Sonic Mania's sequel and is using the stolen engine to make a Sonic 5. Uh, okay, <laughs> again, do you have a source on this? Is there a... Is there a Gymquisition? Sonic like 5 that, that means that, that they have to, they're requiring people to acknowledge Sonic 4 existed. Oh yeah, remember Sonic 4? No, nobody does either. They had the gall to release that game in episodes. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, it's just Sonic! We're not gonna have any of these other new characters! Just Sonic! That's what you people want, right? Just Sonic? Give the people what they want, and all they they want, just Sonic. Head Wait. empty, only Sonic. Wait, no, it had two moves. Oh, no, it's not supposed to have two moves. What? Why is it avoiding my spores? I... This Pokemon is so mysterious. I can't use that here? No, let me get out of this fucking gym! I need to grab an electric course. Guy, let me pass. Oh, I killed it. So uh, I've been watching some old Joel streams. You know, it's a, uh, you know, it's a game I didn't really pay much attention to until I saw it streamed. What? Rumble Roses. Oh, that's that uh, wrestling game with like just female wrestlers, right? That uh, I Konami made. Like, that's, that's a high-profile name to be on a game like that. Oh, Konami did make it. Yeah. A game like that. This was 2000, right? Yeah. Okay, it's, that, that's when games were... It's not were... so weird that it would be in Japan. It's a little weird that it would get, like, a dub and a, and a release over here. That was basically video game's puberty phase, where it was focused on just sex and violence. So that's I'm not true. surprised that they did a sexy wrestling game. Like, it was PS2, right? Yeah. Um, that also explained... Trying to that prove also... that gaming could be adult. That also explains why uh, 
like that uh, weird uh, y like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh slash Rumble Roses crossover fanfic I saw a long time ago. Okay. Back when I was a teenager. <laughs> I saw that. I'm like, what? This is random. Both made by Konami now. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Anyway, Rumble Roses for Smash is what I'm saying. Oh uh, yeah, uh, was I, I, that's Joel a joke. just basically was Joel just basically like playing that and going like, uh, like, oh look at the boobies, or was he like, oh this shit, this game's actually kind of fun. It's a fun. I I don't think he he loved the gameplay because he's he's played like other wrestling games. Uh, yeah. The story was fucking batshit, as you would kind of <laughs> expect for uh, a I pro actually wrestling know game, which is like made by. A Konami. company known for yeah, just having uh, weird fucking story beats. All right, yeah, tell tell me some of these story beats. I want to know. So from his stream, the I think he only played the uh, the story mode for like she was like an evil doctor character. Evil doctor. Oh, Britt Baker, DMD. I, I wish I remembered her name. Her name was a stupid pun, but uh, she, she, her plot was like to gather body parts from wrestlers to create an ultimate weapon. Yeah! That would be <laughs> sold to I'm... militaries? Military wrestler Frankenstein. Fuck yeah. <laughs> this, you know what this sounds like, Zalrog? Yeah. My shit. That, yeah. This sounds like it my did, shit. It definitely looked like your shit. <laughs> well, well, it sounded the like, like the writing. The writing, yeah. I, th I think like the the she completed her her Franken lady, but it, it went like haywire or got possessed by some evil lord or some shit. You know what? Change my mind. I'm gonna stunt on the gym leader with uh, with the uh, crook. Yeah. <laughs> Hope it doesn't have more moves. I've only got one effective move, and I'm just gonna use it. I'm gonna eat your birds. <laughs> this is the equivalent. Of shooting a helicopter with a torpedo. <laughs> You're fucked. <laughs> that actually happened in the uh, in the uh, Black Lagoon. Remember? Uh, yeah, that was the reference. It was like episode yeah, just... two or something. <laughs> that was yeah, episode two. Okay, uh, that was... everybody. I'm like, I might as well just fucking watch it dubbed if you're gonna do that. Like, what was that guy's name? Dutch. Dutch. That was it. It was, uh, Dutch, Benny, Revy, Revy and Rock. Rock! Guy Sensei! Lee! Guy Sensei! Lee! Guy... Black Lagoon, except it's, uh, Rock Lee from Naruto. <laughs> Instead of... It'd be a very different show. Hey, why are we kidnapping this kid? In, a, in a, like, a green spandex bodysuit. He's tougher than he looks. I think he'll be useful. Instead of firing a torpedo, he just fucking does the primary lotus onto the helicopter. Uh, no, he is the torpedo. They load him into the <laughs> shaft. <laughs> and he's like, first, he just drop kicks it. <laughs> Considering his ninja training probably would would be less, like, more chill with like killing people. Yeah. People would be like, "Hey, kid, I hope you're not gonna like, like, uh, go squeamish." Over this, he's like, "No, why would I? I'm, I'm I've got, I've trained for this. I'm a trained assassin." <laughs> and then people in Naruto—that's the weird thing about Naruto is that they're all trained assassins and shit, and they're like expected to kill. Except it's got but, a. Considering that, it's got a surprisingly low de death count for most of it, like before any wars or anything. It's weird. You put somebody from a Naruto verse into the My Hero verse, and and the, the people from Naruto, no matter how nice they would be, they would be villains by default. Yeah, they would think that Stain is like a reasonable individual that like they would want to hire. Look, Stain would be a good guy a in Naruto. Like <laughs> Stain would be a good guy in that universe. God damn. Be like, so, yeah, that, that, I, I agree with him. Like, a professional doesn't, like, make a big show of it. He just does his job, and then he goes back to his village and waits for the next job. Yeah. Meanwhile, people in, in the Heroes would be like, What the fuck? Are you guys all insane? That's the thing, is that, uh, as far as morality, uh, My Hero Academia is, like, the most traditionally, like, moral series in, uh, in because like, Because it's Shonen basically... It, it's yeah, trying it's to emulate our world. It's trying to emulate real life, but with this quirks thing going on. Yeah. Fucking Bleach. 
bleached people would die and everybody would be like, it's the cost of, uh, of doing business. Naruto people, like, fight and they die and it's the cost of doing business. DBZ, even people are just like, well, we're gonna fight. If you die, it's okay, we can just bring them back with the Dragon Balls. I mean, if they, die, if really... they die in Bleach, they can just cross dimensions and be, hello! If they die again, that's it. They'll be they'll um, reincarnate as a new person. Yu Yu Hakusho people die all the time. Hunter Hunter verse is like the most like weirdly amoral, I think. Yeah. People in the Hunter Hunter verse, they they would be just themselves and be and be considered villains in, in My Hero Academia verse. Well, go yeah, like Gon isn't really willing to kill. Kiloe is Oh Ki Gon what go fucking wiped out that cat aunt, aunt lady. <clears throat> Nefropito, he fucking murdered the shit out of her, really? out of revenge. Yeah, oh. he turned into he turned into Super Gon and like and like mashed her into dirt into pavement. I remember that. Then he like walked her back to to like the ant base or whatever. I don't remember what she, happened after that. Bro, she died. Oh. She 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 just died. Alakazam is absolutely an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it's because of the star on their head. They're like, oh, Chinese, better, uh... Chinese communists, better... Oh, it's not there anymore. I think it's more just, like, the idea of, like, a smart, manipulative person. I don't know. Uh, yeah. We write essays theory-crafting what that dude was thinking. Oh god, what's, that's what's just his a stats theory. gonna be like now? Oh god, he's level 8. There's no way. You got, uh, <laughs> no got an EXP share? Oh, Doltic. Oh, that's half bug. That's basically like a glass cannon in that situation. If his um, stats get worse, or are they always like that? Uh, well, he's got a decent attack. His, his attack stat must have been higher. I wouldn't be using this guy. Oh, I know what I'm going to use. I'll use this guy. You got just decent HP. He's got speed, I guess, but... Maybe I'll stop using Alakazam. Oh, uh, speaking of uh, anime, I, I learned yeah. some trivia related to JoJo recently. Oh, yeah? Apparently, Street Fighter takes a lot from JoJo. You know that? No. How? The, uh, the Street Fighter devs have always been, like, big JoJo fans. Guile is based off of Polnareff and Stroheim. Okay. Uh, a character oh. named Rose, oh. <laughs> based off Lisa you, Lisa. You take, you take a German Nazi, you mix in France, you get America. It's just the hair, mostly. Oh. Now, I, I guess his, like... Super nationalism with von Stroheim, but mostly the oh, hair. Yeah. Uh, jury is loosely based off of Jolene's appearance, and there, there's Seth, which not only like does JoJo moves, his parts of his move set are ripped directly from JoJo's Venture, which Capcom developed for Dio. Oh, they just like took some of Dio's move set and stuck it on Seth for Street Fighter. Oh, so Seth is just D is just Street Fighter Dio. Yeah. There's like a whole article on the Street Fighter wiki. Apparently it's common knowledge, and I just had no idea. Oh, you fool. Everybody knew that. Hey, a female Pikachu. With Sandstream. Oh, I know what I can do. Throw the Rocky Helmet on uh, on my other Pokemon, and then he'll become the alt. Oh, wait, no, I gotta put the EXP share on, on them first. Do I have... Where is the EXP share? Uh, do you have it on oh. somebody, or is it in your bag? Oh, that's bag? Smoke Ball. I hope it's not... I hope I didn't... Yeah, there it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. You get the EXP share. All right. 
Let's find some fucking Pokemon to battle. You uh, beat the gym leader, or you just put grinding? No, I, I, I'm I grinding. Well... You could uh, fight some trainers on the way to the next area. I think I beat them all. Oh, wait, no, there's one. There's one that's ha hanging out on top of a... Uh... Yeah, so I can do that. Also, Cheat Slayer, which is just Demon Slayer, but with Isekai protagonists as the enemy. Wait, uh, he, what? I, I, I don't know huh. what that's describing. Is that a game? What is Cheat An Slayer? Enemy? Got canned after one chapter. Okay, so it must <laughs> be manga. Manga, Cheat Slayer. Like, is it's just Demon Slayer? <laughs> must have been like a, a prank. Like a thing, it has to be. Is it like proper isekai protagonists, like pe people with names from specific series, or <laughs> is it just like a dude going around killing people who got transported into the game because all of us—they're cheaters. They have an unfair advantage. Okay. I, is, can we talk about Isuke protagonists for a second? Sure. Um, you know that they all look the same. They just... Boy, somewhat long hair. Like, the eyes. They do kinda all have handsome, eyes, yeah. Kind of handsome. Like, like they're all played by the same actor. Cocky who just teenage. Got typecast. Yeah. Dude, what would be cool? Like, a, like an old man Isuke character? Like, a guy who's, like, just gray beard and just, like, it worked in, like, like the military or something, he's like, I'm too old for this shit. That'd be interesting. He's in, like, a fantasy verse. He's like, we're gonna wage guerrilla warfare on these fucking orcs. And when I say orcs, I mean the actual fantasy race orcs, nothing else. Yeah. They or like shrink uh, ass back to the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Off-brand of off-brand versions, okay, parodies of, like, actual isekai protagonists. I couldn't even name that many isekai protagonists. Oh, you know what would be great? What? A fucking robot. Like, sure. a, like a, not like even like a, like a realistic... The AI isekai into, like, a fantasy world. Uh, is it a game fantasy world? Or is it just, like, a regular... Uh. Uh, I could go either. Which which one do you think would be, I, it'd more, be more interesting? It'd be more interesting if it was just like a straight up robot, mechanical body transplanted into Slayers. <laughs> and I'd be like, wow, this golem looks weird. And you know what? Have it be friendly. Don't have it be like generic, like, I'm going to kill the world. Just be like, hello, I am AI. Yeah. Is that the default for robots? I'm going to kill the world. I, AI and, like, world domination, like, mix, like, uh, cereal and milk. Yeah, AI, certainly. Cereal and milk. Not cereal, not milk and cereal. Don't put fucking... Anyway. Which comes first, though? I don't know, Zelrog. Which comes first? The cereal comes first. That's the correct answer. That is, the, indeed, the correct answer. You don't put fucking milk in first, you sickos. Ow. What isekai? We, because we watch mostly older anime. The isekais I've seen are from before people started calling them isekais. It was before that was in the common like uh, lexicon. Yeah. Inuyasha. Dot hack uh, sign. Yeah. Is that it? Well, the entire uh, dot hack series, kind of, but I guess kinda. it's just sign because that was the one where the character was trapped in the game. Yes, they did, which was done. Before fucking uh, Sword Art Online. Yeah, the and, one which uh, uh, the I guess dot hack sign are. protagonist was not a cocky teenager who gets all the girls and is overpowered. It was he, uh, it was just kind of like a sad little depressed teenager. And it, it was, wasn't about like fighting people. It was about like what is the nature of this game we're in. It was a mystery basically. It, yeah. it was the mystery of trying to find out why she was trapped in the game. And on all honesty, it was close. It, I would say it was closer to like uh, serial experiments lane than like any like traditional shonen experience. 
I heard someone complain about Dot Hack Sign recently, and they said that their explanation was that eh, it's not worth, not worth watching. Evangelion does the wanksty teenager better. <laughs> Which, sure, you could say Eva's better if you want to. They're kind of totally different characters, though. Oh, shit, charge beam. Uh... That, I believe, is an attack and also does charge. So you might as well replace charge. Right, and... Oh, okay, it's a special defense. A special attack versus special defense. All right. So yeah, it'll cool. make itself stronger each time you use it. Sounds good to me. To snowball. Also, how... Flying versus steel, by the way. Not very not... effective. Yeah, not very effective. Good! I picked the right Pokemon for this line of work. I just want nothing I have is fast enough to run from these fully evolved monsters. I just I have want a story to leave about the tower. So oh. I have I have Elden Ring now. Um, okay. I'm able to play it now that I have a Steam Deck. And when did you, uh, how went, long ago did you get it? Oh, we about a week ago. I've been okay. playing it a, a little bit uh, at a time throughout the week when I get home. You've been playing and, a week. So I have like about nine hours on it. So I haven't been playing it long each time. Um, so at one point I was like uh, I was just exploring like a part of uh, of the world. And I see this, uh, this zombie, this, like, not zombie, like, this dude, his eyes are glowing. I'm like, oh, cool, I'll kill him. So I kill him, right? You know what happens? What happens? A, a giant bear comes out. It starts, like, wrecking my shit. I start running away, but the bear is so fast. He's just, like, I know, so I call my horse, and I then run start running. But he's still fucking pursuing me. And I'm like, oh, shit. I use my fucking Estus flask, which heals you. Yeah, well, I mean, it's called Estus. It's not called Estus Flask at all. It's something Crimson Tears. Same concept. Yeah, but it was just... And the, that game is kind of filled with those moments. At one point, I see this group of, like, uh, of like just just characters, just regular enemies. I'm like, oh, I'll fight these guys. And then you know what happens? A dragon comes down and wrecks their shit. The dragon, like, a boss health bar comes up and, and like, boss music starts playing. I'm like... You know, I'm not going to deal with this right now, and I just take off. So is it uh, fairly easy to go to a place that you're underleveled for? Um, I wouldn't know. I'm still stuck in, like, the, the primary area. Um, I just, I, there was, like, one field boss. That was, like, the first field boss. I knew it was, like, kind of, he was, like, kind of scary because he was on a horse, and him and the horse were, like, really big. I'm like, I don't think I can take this guy yet. And so I just stuck around him. And eventually I got, like, bold, and I'm like, okay, I got a horse, I got, I'm got, i decently powerful, I'll take this guy out. And it took me, like, five attempts before I was able to beat that dude who was, like, this, uh, what was it? It was, like, guardian of the tree, tree guardian or something. What kind of, uh, what kind of build are you using? I picked Samurai as my character. Actually, that was not my second, my first character. Um, I picked that one again, and it, because he started off with a katana, and the katana has bleed. Um... So I just, I'm just this samurai chick, just like, uh, just like fighting people. So it's a, like, two-handed sword use? Oh, uh, one, it can be one-handed, but I use a two-handed and I just dodge instead of blocking. Which is kind of difficult, but the dodge frames are pretty generous, generous in, a in Elden Ring. I play, like, I play, play Bloodborne, basically. And so I got a heater shield, which has, like, a perfect, uh, like, block. Um, but then I... Yeah. S Sigilith. I'll keep battling. Oh, this, this thing's dead. Crunch. Oh, I should, uh... I catch any Pokemon recently? I gotta check my PC. Oh, and so I got a I got a uh, weapon that I think surpasses the starting katana that I get. Yeah? Um, they're, they're Hook Claws. And you could, and it automatically dual wields them if you double hand it, and they and they get bl more bleed than like regular. So, so I just like the samurai, but I'm using like claws, like I'm fucking Boldo. X scissor. Okay. A oh, weapon to surpass Voldo. Metal Gear Three remake announced. Yeah. Let's uh, see if Konami got mixed feelings about Konami. Oh, Darling in the Frogs, I've heard of that. Um, well, they fucked over Ko uh, Kojima. So that's... And then they just pachinkoed everything out. Yeah. 
Um, is there anything else they did? Um, they're doing remakes of their well, their old properties, but everybody's fucking doing remakes of their old properties. Didn't they? Uh, wasn't playable trailer PT? That was Konami, wasn't it? Yeah. They kicked that or canned that. Because it was gonna be Silent Hills, and then they're like, "No, fuck that." And then uh, Kojima made Death Stranding, so who's laughing now? I'm surprised that got a sequel. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I didn't play it. I don't know if I'm ever going to play it. That that game seems like my shit story-wise, but the gameplay is just like... Walking simulator. Oh, so you're not allowed to kill stuff. I don't. I don't like that. Uh, this is a really good ability. Let me double check what it does, though. I think it doubles your attack. Huge power! Oh, fuck! Okay. Yeah, it doubles attack. So effectively, this thing has like a 106 attack set. Uh, what are its moves? Shadow Force. That's all it's got is somewhat inaccurate. Kojima should steal all of all Konami's, of Konami's IP. IPs. Kojima Castlevania. Oh, that's the other one. Yeah, they kicked out Iga. Yeah, then he made Bloodstained, which I actually like the lore of Bloodstained and stuff. You know what's funny is that they got the original Alucard voice actor for, uh, for a character. Yeah. Um... A vampire known as O.D. Not D.O. O.D. I get it. So and, uh, even in uh, even in the new series, they're still making JoJo references. <laughs> so you know what's funny is that uh, the main character walks into the library and the O.D. is there. And he's like, hey, I hear you hear before my books. And she's like, wait, you're a vampire. And he's like, what of it? <laughs> yeah. I'm not fucking with you, right? I'm just here. You, now you want a book or not? <laughs> and at one, so if you, uh, but the thing is, if you take a book and you go to a certain point, there's a secret boss battle with him, and he totally does like a the world like throwing knives at you shit at one point. Yeah, which was also <laughs> in Castlevania. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Stockpile. One for all. So, uh, we resumed My Hero Academia. Yeah. On my my recommendation, because I continued watching it, and, uh... You said it got better. I, I see it. That stain fight was great. <laughs> I love that. Oh, it's shit, it gets It shows it takes, like, two or three seasons to get good. Well, it's still just... Is it on a second season, I guess? Uh, we're in the middle of... Se we're reaching the end of season two, I think. <laughs> Alright. The first half of season three is... Yeah. Then the second half and after is, in my opinion, all, all very solid. Cool. I have that dumb duck. I have a Wonder Guard Pokemon, but it's a physical attacker and it only knows special... Maybe I can teach it TMs. Perhaps. Tranquil. What was that? That's a uh, fully evolved, uh, or second stage bird. Normal. Oh fine. yeah. Okay. Well. Time to see what you can do, Clank. You can't affect it. It's a bird. It's a you're a bird and come at me, bro. Oh, that has charge beam. I do. I, I I'm using charge beam. What's its special attack like? Uh, I haven't checked. So oh, detect. Probably not good. Uh oh, it's pure electric type. 
40, 50, 32. It's got a higher right, normal attacker than special attacker. Wait, mine's pure electric type? No, mine is pure electric type. Which is really good for Wonder Guard because only one type is super effective on electric. Also, on what? BHA. What? I... Also on My Hero Academia. Watch the first movie before this. Watch the other two before that. I've watched all three movies. They're okay. They're not vital. Oh, well, we're watching them, so... <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> I only have one elect I only have one electric move and it's fucking 20 power. Come on. I can roll out, I guess. Maybe. Maybe I can learn it. He's not attacking! All he's doing is just taunting and like Does it not have like, anything that can hit you? And detecting. <laughs> this is not all you want me to do! Heck it! I'm gonna break my beak on that thing! <laughs> yeah, I like- I like this- I like my metal, uh, my metal bastard. You met- you metallic bastard! I can't learn anything! I- heat crash, maybe? You gonna go to the heat crash of the universe? Cut. Let it learn cut. Yes. Oh, a wild tranquil. Oh, I didn't set him to damn it. Whatever. I do, I, I think the first My Hero movie was the least, like, uh, noteworthy. It did have one thing about it. It had Hawk Moth in the villain seat. Uh, another Keith <laughs> Silverstein appearance. Yeah, well, fuck, that's why we're watching it. We're gonna watch Hawk Moth do his thing. Hmm, this See, Bakugo person is so full of rage. Imagine if every VA had, like, one character that they did. And Keith Silverstein was just Hawk Moth. Just every single series. role. Simon Belmont sounds like Hawk Moth. Uh, that, that goofy dude in, in uh, Amphibia sounds like Hawk Moth. Yeah, and that's and that's basically pro wrestling. Yeah. It's just it's just like the one character gets good at playing a single role, and they have nuance of the role. Sometimes the role is a good guy, sometimes he's a bad guy. And <laughs> and <laughs> It's just Hawk Moth versus uh, Bak versus like Bakugo or somebody. And, and uh, how popular was Hollywood Hogan? Oh, extremely popular. Yeah. Um, so that was uh, like Hulk after was, Hulkster. And the NWO was the NWO was fucking. It made WCW at the time. Like it, you do not understand how popular they were and how much merch they sold they sold lots of merch they, lots of nwo shirts yeah. everybody was like wearing fucking nwo shirts everybody's cheering when hogan came out and then they were cheering harder when he insulted their like hometown and shit what was uh, nwo new world order sorry i, I gotta i gotta pronounce it correctly <clears throat> new 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 world order 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 okay well, well, what was it uh it was a stable it was uh the storyline, uh, the storyline leading up to the NWO was like, like uh, it was revolutionary for wrestling at the time. So, hey, sorry, sorry, slow, slow down. Stable as in like a group of wrestlers. Yeah, it was a group of wrestlers under what, like WWE, WCW, under WCW. Okay. Yeah. So it started off with uh, a duo called uh, it was duo Kevin Nash and Scott Hall come defecting from uh, WWF, and they teamed up. It to basically like wreak havoc against all the all like the uh, wrestlers, and they framed it as if WWF were invading them with these two, and they were like saying, "Oh, this is where the big boys play, huh?" Yeah. Where is everybody? Where is all the talent? And then it led up to a uh, to a three way like a three v three between like them and then a mystery third person, 
And then, like, I think it was Sting, Luger, and and the Giants, I want to say? I, I don't remember. I'm... Uh, I have... I, it was like everyone in the 90s just a heel. That was like the era of dirty wrestling, right? No, there's some st straight-up good guys. Sting was one. Um, and so they came out. The two of them came out, and then the three of them were there. And then, like, wait, where's your third guy? He's like, he's like, uh, oh, uh, he'll come out when the time is right, uh, when we need to. And so they act. The two of them were dominating the three of them. And eventually, they got the heat on the one dude. The other two were out of the ring. And Hogan comes out, and this is, he was still, like, uh, red and yellow, uh, I'm Hulk Hogan, beyond the Hulkster, eat your vitamins, say your prayers. He was still like my motorcycle. heaven, Hogan. The world just lost another Hulkamaniac. And then he, he's, like, looking around, the two of them duck out of there, because he's fucking Hulk Hogan, oh no. He's looking around, and he drops the leg on, on the on the dude in the ring. And then, and then just continues doing it, and they just celebrating with them, and that was the formation of the New World Order. And okay. they became Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Yeah, and then uh, they added like a bunch of people after that. Uh, they added, or they had an NWO referee that would always prefer the NWO. Um, they got bloated fast. <laughs> oh, you stopped watching Ladybug. Uh, Jack has had about enough of it. I'm still yeah, watching it and uh, relaying like the actually good episodes to him. Yes, Which and I, and I are few, and but they, they exist. Yeah, that's the thing about this show. When it's good, it's good. But when it's not good, it's like wretched. It's it's not very consistent. Like no, the good episodes are written like JoJo fights with like this really complex, like make you think series of events, and then the rest of the time it just kind of treats the viewers like preschoolers. Has a new one been dubbed yet? Uh, it's in the middle of uh, season five. Uh, so I'm, I'm waiting for it to be done or almost done before I start through it. I cannot wait for the revelation that, like, uh, that, like, eventually people will have enough of Chloe. Somebody will. <laughs> it's gonna be like, uh... I, I, I was going to say the Family Guy Vault episode, but that's a terrible comparison. Just a dead serious episode where they just have, have like an intervention with Chloe being an Marinette asshole. Marinette and Chloe are locked in a vault, and then Chloe reveals that like she's actually had like a bunch of mental problems or something. It's just like really, really serious and uncomfortable. That's what's going to happen. She's going to be like just a, a, a unrepentantly a villain. Uh, that... Like unrepentantly a, like a rich girl and... Uh, if it were serious and uncomfortable, then she'd be Helga. I love you, and yet I hate you, and yet I love you, and yet I hate you, and yet I love you, and I love you. She's like the you. only fleshed out character in that show because you see her, like, horrible home life. And uh, uh, you don't want to root for her because she's kind of an asshole, but it is also very sad a lot of the time. It's you understand. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's called empathy. You should embrace it. Um... Oh god, this thing has titanic defense. That did nothing. <laughs> I, got, I got Wonder Guard, fuck it. Titanic was sunk by an iceberg! What are you talking about? You're that right, I should use an ice move. <laughs> Common Rider 000. Oh, uh, we don't. I don't. Have we, yeah. We've never watched Sentai shows. No, have I, you watched Sentai? I don't watch any like live action Japanese <laughs> stuff. I, I, I watched, I was trying to watch Power Rangers as a kid, but my parent, but mom for, forbade me from, from watching it. <laughs> you think it was for the best? Uh, considering I, I, I gravitated towards anime, yeah, I, I think, because as far as like Sentai goes, um, they she just didn't want me to like uh, mimic the moves on like, on like somebody when I wasn't supposed to. And considering how I was as a kid, I totally would have, so... <laughs> There's a dude in uh, Wickersham's Discord who is, like, big on that kind of old live-action Japanese stuff. I was a little su surprised to see how uh, how much of an audience it still has. Oh, yeah. There's still people following, like, Kamen Rider, and, uh... They're not really doing anything with Ultraman anymore, are they? I... I think I watched an episode of Ultraman recently. It might have been Ultraman, it might have been something else, Ultraman Tangential. It was, uh, something, uh, Ma was, uh, showing me. And, 
It was like this Japanese uh, series. I forget what it was called. Might have been Ultraman. Might have been something else. But uh, <laughs> this guy works for like a space force, and and you get like two aliens come down. And one alien bonds with the dude, and the other uh, anyway. I should have used Spore first. Oh, how bad is this going to be? Oh, no. Pin Missile hurts. Ultraman, Ultraman still is still going. Okay. Oh, so, um, I don't know if you're familiar with the podcast Trash Taste. Nope. They they were the ones who interviewed uh, Shindo L. Shindo L being... The Metamorphosis slash uh, Emergence dude. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, um, but uh, they did an interview with uh, with uh, Critical. Okay. Yeah, and they mentioned that uh, something that I, I agree with that uh, the kind of anime that uh, that's like all long, like like fifty two, like times a year, at once every week. That kind of stuff just uh, is just dying out. Yeah. And that ever that they're shifting more towards seasonal stuff. And that one piece is like the last like real hold out of that. Yeah. Ow! <laughs> I hit the wall. Superhuman. Don't care. That's another thing that's uh, noteworthy about my hero. It does not have any. Fill it has like one filler episode per season at most. Twenty nine. That'll have to do. I wonder All if right. that's because they just like pace the anime slower, or because the manga is like comes out faster. I think pacing has just in general gotten better because that well, is something definitely people... gotten faster over time yeah One Piece has been going since I was like in high school and it's still it's almost over but yeah the pa One Piece's pacing is glacial as fuck if ever it's I do think it's a great series One Piece it just yeah if any if ever there were a need for an abridged version of a show it's One Piece uh, like One Piece Kai, yeah, yeah, and it's not I agree. something that, for the most part, has filler episodes. It has filler episodes, but more than that, it is just the pacing where it does the old DBZ thing where nothing will happen in an episode. It is incredibly dated that that style of like pacing, and because One Piece has so many characters. It just kind of fills time by jumping between them and not really adding anything all the time. Yeah. Hey, uh, Swana, what uh, type is that? Uh, that's the evolved form of the duck. So it's okay. water flying. Oh, ugly duckling, beautiful swan. Okay, so it's di it's it's double weak to li lightning. Good. I chose right. Ratchet, I am ready to send the electricity. That looks like that Pokemon that was ever, like scheduled to be like a uh, a far fetched evolution. It's got attitude. It's got his hands on its hips. <laughs> yeah, hit me. You won't. Aqua ring. Okay. You use a charge beam? Yeah. Okay, and that's gonna be... Oh! oh Maybe paralyze. No, it won't paralyze. No. Shit. Maybe if you heal, it'll use a weaker move this turn? Maybe it'll get cocky. It looks cocky. Yeah. How much will I heal? 100. Uh, God, for for a Steel type Pokemon, this thing really can't take a hit. Yeah, well, it's, it's it's a special defense thing, I think. I would assume it's stats lean on the physical side. I've ever used a Clank, 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 whatever. Yeah. Oh. I don't think I can outspeed this one either. Uh, no, you can't. Yep. Shit. My ace in the hole. Finished. It knew it could take you. Well, oh, you know no, what? I'm fighting one too. <laughs> to celebrate, it came over to my screen. Wait, 
Does it, does that Swana have tits? What? No. It's got breasts. Look wow. at look at, look at I, his look. Yeah, look I guess that. it's got like a it's got V-neck foliage. Oh no! I I have three I'm two water moves of fighting and a bug. I'm fucked. I have nothing that's like. All right, scald. Maybe you can burn it. That's my plan. Oh no, our water type water types can't be burned, can they? Uh they can. Okay. Alright, how about bad? Pretty sure. Pokemon burn. Yeah, it, it, it worked! So it'll be burned. Changed so after a point that fire types can't get burned. Okay, razor shell. Oh, it's hit me with another. Well, there, there goes uh, another one. At least I was able to inflict burn on it. RT Game is... did a uh, stream ranking all of the mainline Pokemon games. Maybe realize uh, he and I have uh, very different things that we look for in Pokemon games. He was like all about uh, story and post game, which are probably the things I care the least about. Ah, oh, you hyper potion spamming! Uh. Yeah, you're still burned. Oh wow! That, okay, that was a crit. Dang it! Another hyper potion! I hate you so much. I imagine you probably rank them just like each gen is better than the last because you care a lot about quality of life stuff. Yeah, I really don't like having to wrestle with game mechanics. I, uh, I, 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 the only way I tolerate jank is if the jank makes the game more interesting and, like, not as frustrating. If yeah. it's, like, a weird kind of jank where it's like, hey, they're, uh, the mechanics are, these people can be de de dismembered and you can use the arm as, like, a weapon and the weapon and it does weird stuff. As I'm like, okay, that's cool. If it's like, okay, you... You have to do it in this exact certain way, and the mechanics are all like very obtuse, and you gotta me memorize like a wiki. I'm like, fuck off. Abusable no. jank is the only reason that I love Gen 1 and 2 still. It's so nice to be able to just duplicate items and Pokemon as much as you want. Yeah. Even if unintentional. Oh, yeah. We have, I also like, uh,. I say that uh, that I uh, that I like uh, jank to like quality of life stuff to a point. I also want to say that uh, that I don't really. Uh, I'm kind of less cool with it if it uh, if it like makes the games less interesting. Yeah. Like I like my games to have depth, but I also like them to have like a kind of ease of use. How do you think you'd uh, rank the Pokemon games so far? I haven't played a whole lot of, uh... I'm still waiting for them to fix their, uh, save glitch with the... when they have, um, so... So, wait, uh, which do you think you preferred your experience so far between, uh, Scarlet and Shield? Or, you have Sword, don't you? Maybe I have, have shield. shield. Um... I gotta fight Unpheasant. I don't have anybody that can really take him out now. God damn it. Do you have anything you could, like, a status move you could try? Hot Kong hits hard, at least. Yeah, I'm just gonna go hit. Um. You haven't gotten very far in, uh, in Scarlet yet. In no, I haven't. I have not, because I am, uh... It's definitely again. a lot more open than, uh, Sword Shield were. Yeah. Like, they had Which the, is, you the know what, I appreciate that. But... I appreciate that, but uh, also, okay, unco unpopular opinion. I like I like that game a whole I lot. I do. I, uh, Sword and Shield, you mean? I like them both a whole lot. I like I. That's just how I am. I know I I. The thing is, is that I know how I am, and I know what I like, and and uh, and I'm not gonna say that the way I like stuff is better than the way other people like stuff. I wish this was for the my uh, clink clank. Oh well. Well, you still took him out. Hot Kong pulling it back. 
Yeah, just uh, just max attack. Yay, I got the fight badge. Can I use fly now? Is that how this works? Well, you think I just let people use fly? I'd be giving up my monopoly. I think I think I'll enjoy uh, Pokemon Sun Moon when I get to it. Yeah, it's definitely a very cheerful um, genre. I I think six and seven are very bright and cheerful, and I like that about them. Yeah, as far as old school stuff, um, I like I like Fire Red a whole lot. Yeah. I like it. I, I mean, they got rid of like the uh, abusable jank from the original generations, but I can run. I. They, they fixed a lot of, like, the weird special stuff and types not working. Yeah. So. Well, you don't like that uh, Ghost was uh, weak to Psychic instead of being immune to Psychic? Nope. Fix your shit if you're... <laughs> they fixed their shit. That's basically... Dead. Well, I, uh, I just finished the gym. Took me for oh no please i can't battle right now i'm just i've been waiting outside this gym to intercept you with a new political rant pokemon never tell lies unlike people jake was born in town lives with mom oh no don't give him your personal information and it was given the Pokedex. Okay. This Korok trusts you for some reason. This Korok. That's good. Three person Pokemon cared about one another like you two do. I could watch over the future people in Pokemon without having to liberate Pokemon from people who just use them. <laughs> Stain! <laughs> oh, so if he never attacks you, he just kind of follows Deku around and, and says creepy things about the way heroes should be. And occasionally do a JRPG battle and you win. He's like, I see that you have skill. Nevertheless, and he walks away. <laughs> yes, this is using Team Plasma to search for some special stones. The light stone and the... I'm sorry, is this Final <laughs> Fantasy again? When we combine the light stone and the dark stone, we'll have supreme Pokemon power. <laughs> so there's this, uh, there's this movie... It was like uh, one of Godfrey Ho's mini, mini ninja movies. Yeah. And they had it was the one with, which featured the Australian ninja actor. Okay. Whose name I don't remember. And and he like there was a plot point where it was like, we need to get the ninja warriors. We, if we have the black ninja warrior, the, the gold ninja warrior, and the red ninja warrior, we'll have supreme ninja power. Okay. <laughs> which, they don't ever explain what that means. I just think that he like he hits it and he just he just fires a beam and it hits a tree and then the tree turns into scorpions. That's something that happens in this movie. <laughs> that happened in JoJo, but <laughs> I was just saying that's so, it's something as ridiculous as that. Or like maybe he's posing and then he's like approaching him and then and then another one's behind. He's like, "How long are you gonna look over there?" He turns around and he's there, but he turns around again. The other one's still there, just posing. It's just two of them. Oh, speaking of uh, old, like, uh, that's an anime. I yeah. mentioned I found out about something called Dororo. Yeah, you mentioned that. Uh, tell me about it. It's like a, I think it was like a 70s anime about, like, a quadriplegic samurai who has, like, four swords for limbs. Yeah, yeah you said that. I was immediately sold. <laughs> Just... He's like on a journey is... with his tomboyish little sister or something. I described it sounds like Godfrey Ho's Grave of the Fireflies. <laughs> God, can you imagine if Grave of the Fireflies was a shonen like anime? No. Where, where the main character the main character, instead of trying to just live on the land and suffering with his sister and just like eating like just shit. He's like fighting like uh, like US like military or something. And like in like weird battles. No, no, I can't. I can. I'm 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 gonna write that fanfic. <laughs> That's what <laughs> we need. Grave of the Fireflies fan fiction. Alright, here we go. Fanfic.net. You're gonna look that up now? Go for it. 
Look up the crossover, see what it crosses over with. Fan fiction mobile? No, I don't need yeah. the mobile version. Hmm. Is that the only I... version now? Everyone reading no. fanfix on their phones? Uh, the only way I read fanfiction.net on the phone is if I use the fanfiction.net app. I, I'm not joking, there's a fanfiction.net app. Oh, okay. Category, Grave of the Fireflies, four fanfictions. Is that crossover or regular? Uh, regular. Thoughts on Grave of the Fireflies? Is this a, a review posted as a fanfiction? <laughs> if you're gonna do that, just have it be in character, like, going and Kalua watched Grave of the Fireflies. Actually, there's another place you could check. It's like the, um, the time that Wise Man and Shibi Uso watched Bambi. And that one fanfiction, yeah. Okay, what, what, what were you saying? Uh, there's another uh, fanfiction place you should check. It's called Archive of Our Own. Okay. Uh, that's where most people are uh, posting uh, fanfictions as well now, so... What about uh, Wattpad? Uh, I don't use... <laughs> I don't use Wattpad. I have standards. Uh, okay. This is... Uh, okay, there here we are go. no Grave of the Fireflies crossovers on fanfiction.net. Yeah, well... 13 works in uh, AO3. Or, uh, not like in the movies. My god, would I have, what have I done? That's the title of one. Mrs. Yoko Kawa finds out about the death of her niece and ne nephew. Oh good, does she feel bad about it? It's 100 words, I can read it just right now. <laughs> I joke. She didn't. She didn't do anything that bad. I mean, she was kind of mean, but yeah. This is by uh, Tranquil Chiefess. Um, I'm gonna give this. I'm not gonna. I'm not reading this to be mean. I'm reading this for curiosity. So okay. So, I'm, so I read the summary. <clears throat> Mrs. Yokokawa hummed to herself as she prepared dinner when there was a knock on the door. Could you get that? She asked her daughter, who hunched over the table reading. A man in military uniform stood at their doorstep, sorrow coming off of him in waves. He swallowed hard before clearing his throat. I regret to inform you that someone in your family has passed. Seita and Setsuko, do those names ring a bell? The blade Mrs. Yokokawa used to chop pork and Neg Negi sliced her palm. Her body froze, brain oblivious to the pain. They died after they left. That's it, that's the fanfiction. Okay. What that you don't really see what happened. I guess you see her like being sad about it briefly. She cut. She cut her uh, her uh, hand. Um, but you know that makes sense. Uh, pretty short. Uh, it, I don't. I, it was grammatically correct at least. Uh, why am I? Why am I jumping? Ooh, rings? here we go. You find hey, a crossover. I. Okay. Uh, here are the ta here are the tags for it. Uh, Grave of the Fireflies, Infinity Train, The Amazing World of Gumball, Beauty and the Beast, Osmosis Jones, Shaolin Showdown. <laughs> okay, how long is it? <laughs> three chapters, two thousand seven hundred fifty-one words. How the fuck do they fit all that into three chapters? Uh, I know a few people feel cheated about Superintendent Evil's true identity, but what if instead of the one we all expected to be behind, to be behind it all, it was another character entirely, one who, given the right company, could be responsible for the creation of Elmore? Super what? Lieutenant Evil? I don't know. I don't. It could be. <laughs> is this a, is this a sequel to something? Is this part of the author's continuity? Did Tomoko write this? I'm not. Uh, let me. See. Oh, it's an amazing world of gumballs, uh, eccentric. Which you know, if you're gonna do that, why put why not put that first and not infinity and whatever. Uh, uh, shelters and luck, uh, by Replate Buddy. It's a crossover between Grave of the Fireflies and Mega Man Classic. Okay. Grave of the Fireflies Ow. with Mega Man. Grave of the Fireflies with Mega Man characters more likely than you think. One shot about the first 20 minutes of this movie. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you, buddy. <laughs> it... 
Oh, uh, here's one that actually makes sense. Uh, Grave of the Fireflies, it's spirited away. Okay. You strangers strike up a conversation on the train. It's a rather mundane tale, really. Perhaps not worth your time to take a gander. A merry little stroll through these woods. But if you're curious, you may learn a little something. Written for the 2019 Ghibli Voyage zine. So All this right. was published in print. Maybe. It was written for it. I don't know if it was, uh, like, published. Uh, it seems, uh... Oh, there's one written in Russian, which crosses over with Ponyo and Barefoot Gin. Okay. Have you heard of Barefoot Gin? Uh, it sounds familiar. It was a manga about a kid who, uh, who I guess was living in Nagasaki, and then the bomb dropped, and then he's still living in Nagasaki. I guess he's, like, surviving post, uh... Yeah. Well, uh, that's it for Grave of the Fireflies. People don't like to rate fan fictions about that, and probably for good reason. Uh, do I want to keep Absol? I'm 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 gonna optimize my party, so I I only have like Pokemon that I intend to use in it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna get confused in future streams. So, if you, so, I think, I'm surprised, I think the there was, like, a fan fiction I read about Grave of the Fireflies that the author removed, which is a shame. It was like, what if Grave of the Fireflies, but they lived? Yeah. And there was, like, another character that was a girl that was, like, with them. I think I saw that in the list. It was, like, a like an older sister-type character helping them through the ordeal. Yeah, and you know what? That one, uh, that one was, uh, was alright. I read that one. I, uh, I, uh, I like, I like Fix Fix. Those, those are my weakness. Doesn't matter how badly they're written. I, and this one's, not that this one's badly written, but. Anyway. Okay, so you beat the, you beat the Sky Gym, right? I did. Did you beat the Sky Gym? Uh, not yet. I still got a fighter. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to uh, through the route then while you're doing that. Yeah. Since no, I, no way for I, me. I, yeah. No, I was I was busy reading fanfic. Um. What is your uh, what's your uh, stance on fan fiction? You don't really read though, so. Yeah. All right, it's fine. It can be good. I don't yeah. I don't actively read it. No. I I do because. I don't know why. It's just, it's just, it's like. I've heard about I, fanfic I, authors who get hired on to, like, write for shows. I don't know how true that is, but it'd be cool. I know that, uh, that George R. R. Martin was like, I don't like it if people are, like, writing fanfics about my work, about my, uh, show, about my, uh, series, Game of Thrones. Why? Sorry, Song of Ice and Fire. Um, I said something. I don't remember the reasoning, so I'm not really going to say whether or not his uh, stance is valid or not, because I don't know the entire thing, but uh, suffice to say, it didn't really affect anything, because people are still writing, like, fan works, and a lot of them are really good. Yeah, no, it's not going to matter. No. He likes, he, he doesn't mind fan art, though. Since we both hold the jet badge now, let's see which one of us is strong. Oh, we're fighting. Bro, I'm probably going to kick your ass. Uh... Ida. That's just kind of a common trope in uh, in anime j Japanese things. The slightly serious, like glasses dude. All right, you damn bird! I'm gonna eat ya. I know it's coming. Here it comes. Crunch. Ida had his Sasuke arc, but he's way nicer than Sasuke. Oh, he's way he's nicer than he ever was. Remember when when uh, he like goes to the class and he apologizes for being a dick, like during the beginning of the exam, and he ends up becoming like a fast friend. It also just like only consumed him for that arc. Like revenge it's was like, not literally his entire personality. Imagine if Sasuke had like a. Uh, his like revenge arc, but then he he finds and beats Itachi like during Wave. 
And then he just goes back to being friends. He's on Team 7. He's like, okay, we're good now. We're okay. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> what have you guys been up to? I've been gone for a little while. Lee Phil no, doing I mean, well? I mean, literally, like, way, during Wave, like, they find Itachi and they beat him and they bring him back and he considers his clan avenged. Yeah. And then that would radically change the course of the series. He probably wouldn't go with Orochimaru. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about like badly written characters, but no, that that list was focused on women. Um, let's bring up the list again. I want to see. I want to see this list. Okay. Let me, because I think I I, I want to say I agree I with maybe of two the, of them. The all right. The girl and Elf and Lead, the cousin, was on there for like not really doing anything. Uh, okay, so. Naru and Naru Sagawa. Uh, Sudan the Sudari archetype can be handled well, but not in the case of Naru. Well, the, the series tries to paint her in a sympathetic light. Her manipulative, aggressive, and outright abusive behavior only leads to hatred. The male lead is genuinely afraid of Naru. Okay. I yeah, remember uh, her being nicer than Akane most of the time, and I remember the male lead, like, deserving shit most of the time in Love Hina. The thing is, is though, is that a lot of the a lot of the fan work uh, people I, because I, I follow links. I'm like, oh, uh, this uh, thing in TV tropes mentions uh, an example of an abusive relationship in this fan fiction, and, and then I say, okay, it's correlated to with a with a bunch of different fan fictions, and oh, these fan fictions all really hate this character. Yeah, I, I haven't seen it myself, so I don't know whether that's so I can't really speak to that, but that's just what I've observed. Uh, nine, Misa Amane, um. I, this is the first one I disagree with. She has a role. It's just that her character was... Was this her, like, uh, thing in the series? Like, she's a pop idol? It seems some kind of idol? Yeah. I, it, yeah. I guess it's unfortunate that she's, like, the, the biggest female character and is not, like, as smart as the male characters, but man, all the characters can't be light and L. Yeah. And if they try to be, that's that's kind of the downfall of this of the like the second part of the series was that they tried to make characters like Light and L, and it just didn't really work. Yeah. They it lacked the charm. And yeah, she has an unhealthy obsession with light, but at the same time, it's it, it moves the plot forward. It's like yeah. there's a reason for it. She's a, she's a foil. Uh, Yuka from Elfin Lead. I don't. I haven't watched a whole lot of Elfin Lead, so I can't really speak to this. Nor have I heard much about this character. She exists. Doesn't do much. Sakura Haruno. Um, I'm gonna see what they say. Like the, you know, struggles with competent, competent representation of female characters. I agree. None of them get as much hate as Sakura. Yeah, that's true. Considered useless by most of the fandom. Correct. She's uh, underutilized. It's the same complaints that we make about how she's written. Like ultra strong, like just just comically strong, like uh, female character, like give her. I won't say give her Zabu's sword. If you give her like something. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I agree with uh, with this one. Number six, Hari Suzumiya. Bro, are you fucking with me? That one mentions being divisive, and I think yeah. that falls along the line of not being poorly written as much as being like unlikable. Yeah, she's written to be a certain way. Sometimes that uh, that uh, is endearing to people. Sometimes it isn't. That makes sense. Um, I think I think it's it's fun. Her, we didn't she... get to like the worst episodes of her. We no. we never finished the, the Haruhi series. You know what? If if there are like episodes which make her like really bad, then it's probably good that we didn't get to them. Let me have my memories of my uh, okay of my I really fun tell you about the bad things. Uh, Vampire Night. That was one of the things that they showed people. That was one of the series people watched in the in the game room at Job Corps, right? I don't remember. I think so. Uh, Bland. First harem. Okay. Chi Chi Dragon Ball. Yeah, okay, this is the second one I I uh, wholeheartedly agree with. Um, Especially because she was like. An all right character, she could have grown into pretty much anything from Dragon Ball. And then marriage just kind of made her the worst, like her worst, uh, like the worst version of herself. Yeah. Which is kind of it's, yeah. She's she became like really toxic. 
Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, Familiar Zero, never, never watched. Uh, exploit, explosive Sundere. Oh, the Nar, the, the Sundere strikes again. Probably a lot of those on this list. Again, I was surprised that Akane wasn't on there because she's like a horribly unstable and also like totally underutilized. She never does anything in the show. Yeah. So uh, I can't say anything. Two. Relena Pete. Mobile Suit Gundam. I've watched this show. Yeah. Um. You probably it's 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 pretty slow. You know uh, the it's more political. Yeah. She is the the only like. She's one. She's like one of the only female characters in there that's got representation. She's the un, she's the only one that like never gets into a Gundam and like does badass stuff. She's like a, a diplomat character. Does the title of the article say anime characters? Classic anime badly written women characters. Okay, darn, Chloe Bourgeois is out of the picture. <laughs> um, it was never Mobile Suit Gundam was never about glorifying warfare. Instead, the show's always about concerned with promoting pacifism. Uh, however, how she preaches passives and makes her the worst written female character in the Gundam franchise. She loves screaming about ceasing fire and getting in other people's business with her persuasions, yet her battle for peace ends in, with pointless yells. <laughs> how old is she? She's a high schooler! <laughs> it makes sense! They're, they're mad that she's not solving <laughs> violence with violence like everyone else in Gundam? A bigot? What? Oh, I, don't, I don't remember that. <laughs> a bigot? Which series what? was this? Which one Gundam was it's this? Gundam Wing. It was Gundam Wing. It was the first one they showed okay. uh, on Toonami. It was the only one they showed on... No, the first one. because The only that, one I've seen any of Gundam. is uh, Gundam Zero Zero. Oh. That was on uh, sci-fi. Is, is, it, is that, that the one where the guy who was like, I'm going to become a Gundam? I don't know. <laughs> I think that's the one. And number one, Nina Einstein. Which I'm going to say, I don't think she's badly written because I think they they knew what they were doing and that she's it's just a thing of where like, she's hated. Yeah. Most hated female anime character of all time. Possibly. Like, is there any that would be probably, like, more hated than her? Oh, Akane? she's my most hated of all time. More uh, than a kind Well, yeah. The... Probably what... The... That one lady in, like, the first episode of, of Akame got killed. I don't think that Oh, the, the rich girl the, that was, like, that was, like, a torturer and shit? Uh... Yeah, I, I know her. Ragyo Yeah, no. She... I... I would say, yeah, I, I think that she's, like, more hateable than Nina. But then again, Nina created a new... One-dimensional. Yeah. Obsessive, xenophobic, xenophobic, and compulsive. Nina used her intelligence to create a weapon of mass destruction. And she kind... They kind of, like, made it like she was growing up a little bit, and then, like, her final scene is telling off a high school friend who's trying to be nice to her. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Nina Einstein, very lovable character. What, what uh, a scamp. Yeah. Servine, that's that's the grass monkey. Yeah. Uh, not All monkey, right. but grass. So she still had... What did she have? She had a... She had a an Absol? I've already forgotten her team. She's got a Swablu. That I can't hit. Dead. Oh, wow, that's some recoil. My only attack on this Wonder Guard Pokemon is a normal type. So if they're a ghost, I just have to, like, hit, like take chip damage with my weak little pathetic moves. <laughs> that is the water. Oh! Plank, you're up. Please, please be not. not but be ratchet, useless. I'll get rusted. Three levels higher. All right, let's see what happens. One of my uh, one of my middle schoolers that I drive had a had a Sashomaru backpack. He retired it. One fucking hit. What the fuck? You're yeah. aren't steel types supposed to be like durable? Yeah, Clank can't take a hit. Damn. I don't have any... I got Paprika. Let's try it. Paprika's got special defense. Yeah. So... What, sorry, what, can you repeat what you said before? 
uh, one of the middle schoolers that I drive had a Shomaru backpack. And he retired it. He's not wearing it anymore. Maybe something happened to it. Oh no. I'm not gonna out damage him. That was a physical attack, probably. Alright, fight water with water. Yeah, it keeps using healing move or heal hyper potions. What the fuck? This thing, this thing hits hard. What did you use? Rock smash? Yeah. Uh. Do, you have, do you have any status? If you switch, it's they're just gonna eat a hit. Maybe, maybe uh, Hot Kong this guy. Is oh, Hot skull. Kong fast enough to let's use like a hard hitter move? Um, I don't know. Something weird is going on with uh, with your screen. I see like yeah, I see that little bits of the right screen on top and a little I gray have line facade, with the screen on bottom. I have fire moves that I don't have anything that's like I got belly drum. No. Uh, facade is physical. How much does flare blitz do? Oh, uh, whoops. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna. Eh, too slow. I'm I'm getting swept. You fucker. Oh no. Buggy? Construction workers are strong. They can take hits. Right? I got I got a rock helmet. Level 70. What the fuck? <laughs> what why? It looks so oh. it looks so cocky as it's doing it too. It's like <laughs> waving and smiling. <laughs> Do you got any revives? I, I have not saved in like in like since I began. You're gonna lose some money, friend. It seems like it. Oh my god! What the fuck? Why is this thing so powerful? Hey, your attack's fallen. I don't have a rev. I don't think I have a revive. It would be under status. Oh. Uh, you have a normal uh, revive. Oh, you I don't have any max revives. What could you even oh. revive that would help, though? <sighs> its attack is now lowered, uh, but it uses special moves, doesn't it? Scald? Did anything Pep survive a hit? Um... Paprika did. Kind of. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna... Fucking shit! How? Are you? You're, how much does Skull have? Ten? He's got. They gotta run out sometime. I'm just gonna out revive it. Uh, you can heal. Yeah, I'm gonna heal. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just gonna take your hits. Fuck you. Gonna burn, which will suck, but at least it's Paprika's not a physical attacker. <laughs> I'm just gonna st strong style like power through it. If they crit, I'm fucked actually. Still alive! Come on, run out of Scald already! Jeez! Pokemon Scald. 15 PP. Oh no! I'm probably not gonna be able to outspeed it. No, nothing you had was faster than it. <sighs> Why is this thing hit so hard? That's crazy. Oh, 
I wasn't paying attention to what uh, what I got from her barrier, maybe. Please just stop. Uh... Oh, you know. Uh, no, I was gonna say it's because it's raining, but it's not raining in yours, is it? It is raining. Oh. That's why it's like, it's spring. Spring fucked me. Alright, uh. I was able to take a. Musashi has a type advantage, at least. Or... But it. Come on! Just stay. I'm not going down! I'm not. <laughs> you're. You're not gonna make me die! <laughs> you run out of skull! Like, yes! <laughs> it's run out of skull! I done it! <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take this guy out! <laughs> Alright. We're on Barry. It's only gonna be ten, but Oh, dang it. Uh I ran out of healing items. Hey, Do I have any cutter? I don't know. I outlasted it! I weathered the storm! Watch it paralyze you now. You f- <laughs> God damn it! Well, it's not like I was gonna, outs like I was gonna outspeed it to begin with. Alright. My skull this time! Oh, it's Fury Swipes! Cool. Thanks, game. Three times? I like how you, uh, boosted your <laughs> physical attack and then used a special move. <laughs> I don't- I'm not thinking clearly, I'm sorry! Hey, the burn got him! Yeah, get scalded, idiot. Oh, she's got what? another one? <laughs> it's got super one. effective on Paprika. Fighting type, right? I'm out of fucking no, revive shit! Type. Oh no. And it's fast. I <laughs> it's got low defense, but it's fast. <sighs> this is the mean rival. He won't let you go if you lose. <laughs> this sucks! <laughs> maybe, maybe you'll get lucky and he'll not use a dark attack move. It has assurance, so... Psychic will not work. You could Moonlight to heal yourself, or you could yawn to try to put it to sleep. I'm gonna put it to sleep. Okay, you can't use the same move twice. Got it off. I don't have your revives. I'm fucked. I can't, like, hit him then, if Psychic's not gonna work. Could you X-Defend? Uh... <laughs> yeah, you... yeah, you're right. You don't have any moves that can damage it. I don't... Oh, my God. Yeah, these two look alike. Yeah. The eyes are similar. They got the... They got the... The Takahashi dongles. Well, what am I supposed to do? I can't fucking win! <laughs> Teach your Pokemon a TM move in the middle of the match! Uh. Yeah, I, I don't have an answer. I think you're fucked. You were fucking live per- oh my god. Sin head butt. Use all of your PP and then struggle it to death. I'm gonna have to. You know what? Finish me! Come on! Do it! Kill me! Do it now! Kill me! Come on, I'm right here! 
What it's afraid. <laughs> no, it's not attacking me. It must be planning something. <laughs> I'm wary of you, Paprika. <laughs> there it goes. Just had to boost its attack five times to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you, uh, lost some money, you're down all of your healing items, and you gotta fight him again. My Pokemon are gonna be so pissed with me. <laughs> Pokemon are gonna be like, what the fuck, bro? As long as you can avoid getting swept by that stupid water thing. I'm gonna wait till next time. I, I, let's never speak of this again. Yeah, well, well now I'm fighting him. Well, you're gonna be ahead of me and win. Aren't you get? First, I'm gonna grab some healing items. Is that really half my money? I don't remember if it's half. Oh, no, it's not half. No, they, they've updated it by now to be, uh... You could Sunny Day. You could fuck over Scald with Sunny Day. Hail? Uh, hail. Oh, I... Do I have enough? Yeah, I do have enough. In... Rain water is 1.5 times as effective. In sun, I think it's half as powerful. Sandstorm. Oh, Sandstorm so and hail would be normal. It would be normal effectiveness. Sandstorm. Okay. Give that to oh. your gear, I guess. Or my crocodile. Yeah. Doesn't your crocodile have an ability that like works in sand? Uh, no, it's intimidation. Oh, intimidation sorry. works. Can I get some healing items, please? Okay. First, I yeah, get a 71 70 revives. Lives. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna get 20. Thank you. Okay. We, we spent a, a non insignificant portion of this stream looking up Grave of the Fireflies fanfiction. I, and I do it again! You know what I'm here? Ultra Balls. Stupid ghost flower. Wait, can I sell anything? Do I have anything I can sell? Like, like sure, a like... fender crash? Oh, a, a nugget. Cool. A couple of nuggets. Sweet. A big pearl. A uh, big mushroom is a sellable. Oh, yeah? Okay. <laughs> I think the X items are worthless. You could sell those. 475. Remember when you had, like, 20 item slots in your bag, and that was it? That was rough. See, quality of life stuff. <clears throat> yeah, like, you do uh, like those kind of, like, long, grindy RPGs, but you have limited inventory space. That's gonna be... That's gonna be, like, really rough. You, if you're designing a game based off of limited in inventory space, you gotta make sure that, like, it's balanced for that. It's, it's very subtle, that kind of thing. I say as I lose to a fucking... Simapore. Okay. In, in a case like Gen 1 Pokemon, it was a technical limitation. But, uh, if you don't have to do limited inventory, you almost never should unless it adds something to the game in some way. And it rarely yeah. does. Um, I'd say it worked, uh, well, uh, in, like, survival horror. Resident Evil. The, uh, Tetris inventory. I, 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 st this is a, gonna be an unpopular opinion for you or other people. I love I love that. It no, was very it popular. Was... There was a yeah. Some indie dev made a game entirely based around Resident Evil inventory management. Oh yeah, I, I heard of that. I, that's uh, that's been on my radar. What's it called? Uh, back. I don't remember the name of it. it was a uh, Battle Network Three had a similar thing with the Navi customizer. Yeah. Boost the holder's critical hit ratio. Nah. Uh. So we're. 
very limited on stream time right now. Uh, yeah. I don't know how eager I am to start new games with us being able to stream as rarely as we are, but uh, yeah. you mentioned that you have a couple that you wanted to like show me or something. Just one-offs. I don't expect... Yeah. Just have the idea where I just... Uh, where I just make sure the game's all working off stream and then... Uh, and I show it to you, and then you're like, wait, what? Man, this thing can't hit me, but it's making it's doing everything it possibly can to make me killing it take longer. Wow, it's weird being uh, seeing somebody on the other side of that. All right. First, I'm going to save. Good idea. It's saved in, like, hours. It's got maximum evasiveness now. Fucking sand slash piece of shit. All right, now I'm going to teach uh, my crocodile sandstorm. The Divine sandstorm are not scale, are not uh, quills. They're scales. Yeah. What was it they said about sand slash? I should look up. I, there should be a list. There's probably a list of like Russian Pokemon, like the Russian. There's one, I think, uh, Amastar. A lot of fully evolved Pokemon were treated as, like, washed-up has-beens. <laughs> but, you know, you're, uh, in Russia, that's probably... I think Amastar's Wait! was the one that was always Ash Kasim had a Russian biography? Huh? Okay. Okay, the team that did, did you know, game, the Boon King, worked with... Oh! It's by now the Pokedex. Okay, so brave and adventurous Ash is known as the fame, uh, the most famous Pokemon trainer. Just despite his young age, Ash has amassed a large collection of Pokemon with whom he competes. Ash wants to be the first among trainers. He his Pokemon must win, but he doesn't just battle others. Ash often helps builders, oilmen, and fishermen. There's a known case when Ash's Pokemon rescued a fishing trawler in the Sea of Japan, which was on the brink of an accident. Ash's winged Pokemon brought the entire team ashore, and Ash was awarded with a chocolate cake from the Prime Minister. <laughs> I'm done, man. Give me a moment. I'm. I got. I'll be right back. Why, why is this ghost learning so many fighting moves? Alright, bye Sharp. Let's go back to... Back to Wonderguard Dragon. Right. <sighs> Fucking... I just realized completely by accident that two of my party members are Lum and Jerryton. Lum and Jer oh yeah, how they how, how are they working? Uh, well, Lum is the is the electric Wonder Guard dragon. Just can't be hit by anything. All right, uh, Russians bizarre unofficial. Can we? There's no like actual like listing. It's just no one's put it in text yet. Can it's a big job. Yeah, but but I want to see it now. I want to have like a official reference, but no. Were you hoping to like do a text search? Yeah, I wanted to... maybe maybe like somebody put like a link of like all the Pokemon on like the YouTube using its chapter function. Yeah. A lot of people transcribe videos in the comments, but that that's a two-hour video with a lot of text. Is it two? It's, yeah, it is two hours. Oh, man, I, I didn't watch the final half hour. I stopped at Cedra. Uh, come on, please, somebody... Nobody did. So right. It's a big undertaking, so... Well, I, right, I got out a win on Ida. 
What? Oh, okay. I'm still in the menu. That's why. I'm gonna I'm gonna take down Ida really quick. I gotta get revenge on that. Really bastard. quick. Okay. Why you gotta be? Why, why you gotta just be standing here, looking forward? Can you look some other way? Dick. Oh, that's right. I was gonna teach. I was gonna teach uh, Divine Sandstorm. What did you get? Uh, the TM you got from Skyla is really good. Acrobatics. Yeah, I don't know who can learn it though. Oh, Clank can learn Sandstorm, but I'm gonna teach it to Crooked. You teach it both if you want. Uh. Acrobatics is a flying type move that, if the user's not holding an item, is 110 power. Oh! Flying and type. I think it's kind of like uh, Aerial Ace and that a lot of things that aren't flying can learn it. Okay, acrobatics. No, I don't want VPN 30% off. Fuck off. Um. Alright, who can learn it out of my... Nobody! Oh, unfortunate. I bet the zebra could learn it. The zebra's not in my party. Divine Sandstorm. I'm gonna change the weather from it be raining into it being sandy. Who do you think was a bigger asshole between Wamu or Cars? Uh, probably Cars. I, I didn't. I, I would have thought immediately Cars. Be, but uh, Joel thinks Wamu is the bigger asshole. What's and honestly, I, I forgot about a lot of the Wamu stuff. Like, uh, I think the big thing was like he, he like used his veins to puppet the Orhime Mario. Suzuki, oh yeah, that's her name. I forgot about that. You know, like like threatened to kill her in from the inside or something like that. Yeah, just to be a dick. You ready? Divine Sandstorm! The weather's on my side now. Yeah, what else are you gonna do? I'm gonna eat you. Your strength and my strength. Let's test them. Okay. Sandstorm, does Sandstorm last, like, only five turns? Yeah, five turns. Shit. Oh, god. I've taken minor damage. I must sleep. Is this go is it gonna go back to rain after five turns or I don't think so. Okay. Are you sure it was raining? Because it would like tell you in battle it, is, it was. It is literally it was literally raining, yes. It did tell me in battle, yes. You're just not paying attention. Okay. <sighs> it crit. You know what really grinds my gears? Critical hits. Oh no, I- oh, I'm low on health. Better heal with one of my mini hyper potions. I'm prepared this time. So I, uh, I'm listening- I listen to audiobooks at work. Yeah. Um, occasionally. Um, and uh, one of the audiobooks I'm listening to is uh, World War Z. Yeah. Hey, stop! It, it, it just removed the rain. All right. Um, I've heard the book was better than the movie. The it's okay. Uh, I'm gonna say that the that the book and the movie are the, the only thing they share is the title. Yeah, they're that and different. Mi and one plot point. That's basically all they share. What what is the so, plot point? The virus. It has to do with Jerusalem. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there for you to wonder. Okay. Um, but so, so the movie is like played like a generic like zombie movie, but the book is very interesting in that it's it's like an in-universe book about this guy going to interview like a bunch of people who who was living throughout like the zombie apocalypse and the quote-unquote zombie war. So that's and, the perspective uh, character of the book is the interviewer. Well, it's it's shown like interviews. It's basically this guy is like I'm here. I'm going to this place in this city, and I'm talking with this person. This person looks like this. He's talking like this, and then uh, he's doing. He, he sometimes mentions stuff he's doing as he's doing the interview, and then he occasionally asks questions for certain interviews. Sometimes he just lets the person talk. Yeah, it's it's very it's a very interesting book. I really like it. And it's also very poorly disguised uh, satire about like the 
the political climate back in the 2000s and yeah. like so so t so did it lean like a particular way um let me put it this way it did the media uh, helped to cover up the zombie apocalypse i see well not not the, the mainstream not like the alternative media sources this is back in the you 2000s can trust the, them. this is back in the 2000s where the alternative media sources were considered to be um like more left leaning than like uh, than like mainstream stuff. Yeah. Whatever, whatever that's worth. Oh, man. Semi poor. Wait, you're sending in the monkey already? Shit. What's your response? You're not gonna be able to get Sandstorm off with the crocodile. I'm not, but but Paprika, with the uh, without that water, without the rain like powering up that dude's uh, skull, I think I can take this guy out now. All right, that was also a thing in uh, in I watched a playthrough of Dead Rising recently. The oh, whole yeah? plot of the game was the government covering up their own zombie apocalypse they started. Yeah. So okay, I, I am I actually am going to talk about uh, Jerusalem subplot. So so this guy, this uh, this uh, Israeli uh, uh, like intelligence dude, uh, it was like the plot point was that China was doing the cover ups of their stuff. Meanwhile, they were selling infected organs to try to make a quick buck. Okay. Uh, from like dissidents and stuff, but some of them had like zombie bites and stuff. So <laughs> it's just it's just rough. Uh, they they. they the, the, in, the, in the universe, that, in that universe, the Chinese government like did that, but uh, yeah. I don't know what they do in real life. I I'm believe not the cover-up part, selling intentionally infected organs, is a little. Weird. I think they, I think they were like ignorant. They were like going, ah, hey, hey, we're gonna screw over everybody else." They were like, they were like, "We don't know what's going on. Whatever, we'll just make a quick buck. They'll die. What it, whatever." Um, but uh, so they, they were reading intelligence reports, and they're like, "This kid." This can't be right. What, the, what kind of code are they talking about? Zombies? And nine out of ten of the intelligence officers were like, "Okay, uh, this is probably code for something else." And it was the duty. And they, he said, "The guy, the guy who was doing that, it was he said that it was the duty of the tenth to disagree, no matter what the situation was." So he's like, "Okay, all right, you guys do your thing and operate as if that's the thing that's going on. I'm going to operate as if it's actually zombies." And so he talked about this other dude who compiled the exact same information he did. And they wrote a report, and they presented it to the to the uh, Israeli government. And their response was, "All right, we're going to take this seriously. We're going to build a giant wall. We're going to invite all these people that we can to prevent like this threat from growing stronger. We're going to invite Palestinians and stuff, and just and just and just like seal us ourselves in a voluntary quarantine." Meanwhile, none of the other countries were taking this report seriously. They're like, "What the fuck are they doing?" Those crazy. Those guys are crazy. Do they use the word like zombies? They they recognize. Um, that... They recognize that they're zombies. They don't use zombie because it's like that's so weird using zombie. They use uh, words like ghoul or Zed or Zack. I think Zack or was a uh, was like a big one in the U.S. Do they acknowledge that zombies exist in fiction and that their situation is similar to zombies? Yeah, because a lot, it's a so lot of things surreal. don't do that. Like, you notice in every zombie apocalypse story, it's like, hmm, what could this be? What is this infection? It's unlike anything conceived before. I, maybe it's an SCP. Maybe the reason why zombies don't exist in this world is because we, like, make so much media about it. And <laughs> They're a reverse the moment that there's... <laughs> they it, don't exist. Say it. Yeah. <laughs> We have to we have to think about it or else it'll manifest. <laughs> the the high high man. We don't have a zombie apocalypse because st crazy people are prepared for a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, they're too. They only attack people that are unprepared. <laughs> well, okay, what the fuck is automatize? Uh, uh raises. Sheds parts of his body to make himself lighter and sharply raises speed. Oh, that's Clank. That seems interesting. Yeah, sharply raises speed is pretty good. 
Yeah, but what do I? But what would I replace with it? Um, probably bind. I'm just gonna throw balls. This thing has earthquake and it can hit my wonder guard. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of bind. Cool. All right, life herd. Psychic's not effective, but crook. Wait, no. Shit. I fairy's not a thing yet, is it? Nope. Next gen. Oh, Musashi's got a bug type move. Let's try that. I feel like this gen is a little a little bit dour in its presentation. It's very like the the UI is very like mechanical and the world is very like big city industrial. Yeah. All right, Torment. Can't use the same move twice. Which I guess was kind of supposed to be the case in Kanto. They just didn't really convey that on a Game Boy. Uh, it's area. going fine. It's going fine. Uh, We're not going to be going too much longer, hopefully. Jack is uh, hitting a brick wall against Uryu right now. Oh, you stream streaming Castlevania 4? How was that? That's a fun game. All right, Razor Shell. Oh wait, I have I have fucking buggy. I could use buggy to take. Did you need to? It's, that... made, of, it's made of glass. All right, Servine. Yeah, the okay. Hot Kong. Yeah, uh, Castlevania Four is fun. Super Castlevania Four, rather. Got eight eight direction whip. Everything on the Super Nintendo got to be called Super. Everything on the sixty four got to be called sixty four. GameCube. It's just GameCube. That's why it failed. They didn't brand well enough. Oh my god. Why is this guy kicking my ass now? He... Come on, Flare Blitz. There we go. <laughs> Every time I stream, I play worse than I would casually. How did... Uh, did you get through the... Wait, wait. You streamed, like, the really hard Castlevania games recently, didn't you? Like, uh, Castlevania 2? Hello? What? Wow, you really did... I'm weak, so I lost! Bothers me when you call it a fine battle despite that. Honestly, you care. Just accept that compliment without the stinging remark. Yeah! He kicked my ass before! He won once! Nobody's Don't done be that a to me. Baby. Before. Come on, Sharon. Are you gonna cry? Are you gonna cry like a baby? I kinda wish like some matches were canon. Like just some lot like whatever the result some losses. was. Some losses. Yeah, because I, I would have that you earned really that win. happened in Pokemon Yellow. Like, cause whether you won or lost against the rival determined what the Eevee evolved into. Yeah. I just I wish that uh because he earned that win. I struggled. He, I wish you had, like, a power boost. Surf! Okay, cool. I, that's, that's like, the, one of the strongest water moves still, right? Uh, yeah. Place Razor Shell with that. It was special, though, not physical. Oh, yeah. Next time I will win. You won the last time, bro! You kicked my ass because you fought in the rain. Right, Tyranitar, what did I get? God, it's a rain dish. He really, he really needs to to like uh, have a better uh, self esteem. Yeah, dude won. He he won fair and fucking square. A little competitive. I was cheating my ass off with those items. He still won. Bro. Ah. All right, I'm gonna save too. Well, I, yeah, I got a Tyranitar. Good. It's unfortunately not uh, not as great as I'd hoped. Alas. Russian... Oh, and um, for those of you who are watching, Darian, wa watch the Russian Pokedex video. That's fucking crazy. I think I posted it in the uh, in the various discords. That's a crazy... That's some crazy shit. Hey, new end screen. We gotta show that off. Yeah, you... you yep. Yeah. Oh, we're, man, uh, that looks so cool. We're done for today.
I we, we get we're up to six badges. Oh, we got two or three streams of this left. These are yeah. long games, though. That's fine. That's why we use them for uh, for uh, just can't standard like just talking about Sonic stuff 06 with Saucy on Monday so uh don't yes for that we're gonna finish yes, it the f we're gonna finish it and then we're down to what we're just down to this right we're not streaming anything I think else so we'll have to find something else to start thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time see you next time